Hello, those people who are joining us from the recording. This is uh, a past broadcast, so um, I am in the future now um, when you see this. So let's see. Let's turn that off. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I don't know why game ca Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I don't know why game capture isn't coming up. There it is. Okay, so that's going. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so this is an annoying set of events because I thought I'd layer this better, but I didn't. Oh, well. Okay, anyway. We shall start. Boop. Log in. I forgot I changed it to this. It's so bright. <laughs> Fucking Sayori doesn't exist, though. It's like everybody else, yes, but not this person over here. They don't exist. Um, I'm going to ignore everything because I don't think I need to change anything. Um, so just start up DDLC. Woohoo! Um, oh my god, it is so quiet. What happened? Why is it so quiet? Hold on a second. Let me turn it up a little bit. That sounds a bit better. I guess. Dialogue box side. I don't remember that being an option, but okay. Um, yeah, okay. So we put the skip off. Um, we are in Natsuki, I want to say. Yeah, so uh, we're in Nats... That's a weird way of putting it. Um, so we're doing Natsuki... Um, I don't remember what this is. I don't think this matters. Um. Why did I save that? I don't remember. Okay. Anyway, um, so we're gonna pick up right where we left off, um, with Natsuki. So... Most of this is already seen. We don't really have to worry about it too much. Um, so we're kind of just skipping over stuff that has already been witnessed. Um, and we're only really watching the stuff that hasn't been. So we're going to load this one up. And I am going to skip absolutely everything that's popped up. So another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. So we'll just skip. I missed, I mistimed the pwap. We've already seen this pwap. Okay. This is where we haven't gotten to yet. So, we shall pick it up here. Whoop. Oh, no, where's, okay. There's my mouse. I was like, oh no, my mouse. All right. So, I really don't remember how I did Natsuki's voice. Um, I want to say it was mean. Which I always tend to do with her, is make her sound mean. I don't have any more gamer fuel. That's upsetting. Oh well. Alright. So. Let me put my phone to the side so I can get into the... Why do I have my controller here? I swear to god, I've tried to play this game with my controller. And it's just like, hey, that's not how that works. Too much Final Fantasy, man. Too much Final Fantasy. Set that aside there. Clear a space so I'm good to do my reactions. Which you guys don't see, and I love it. Anyway. Alright. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. 
Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I kept my promise. I pull the first volume of Parfait Girls out from my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands, then quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm going to get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So, you're going to tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Uh, the chapter ended when Minori and Alice found... <gasps> Monica! Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. Eh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. First of all, if any like if you're not short, you don't understand this feeling. But if you're short, the problem is is that if anything's on the top shelf, you're just like, oh my god, how? Like, personal act an anecdote? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, personal story. So, I work in a place where there is very common for there to be things high up because it's retail. So, like, shelves are just, like, about six foot high. So, shelves are, you know, shelves are there. And I'm only five foot. So, me personally is just like, ugh, I hate this. And it's either ask somebody who's much taller than you, get a stool, which could be anywhere, because, you know, who knows where everything is anymore, because people take things all the time and they never put them back in the right spots. Or you climb the damn thing. And I swear to God, I swear to God, just like I try not to climb things because I know it's a possibility that I'll get hurt. So, it's just like, ugh, okay. But, you know, I was actually thanked by a slightly taller person than me being like, thank you for not climbing on the shelves to get this. I feel like, yeah, not admitting that I've done so in the past and I just didn't feel like doing it on that particular day. Anyway, so, back to the game. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. So I had to move some of the stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh. The top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. She makes a futile hop trying to figure out how to reach her manga. <laughs> Jeez, this is so inconvenient. I'm moving all these back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Uh, Natsuki, uh, there's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I could reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself. Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too short or something? This is the rage that short people have. And I'm projecting that into Natsuki because I realize that she probably has a lot of internal rage. <laughs> Short people have a natural internal rage. Anyway. I mean... I knew it! Well, you know what? Just watch me. Natsuki hops onto the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Aha! Careful! I know what I'm doing! 
standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. <laughs> Natsuki uses her fingers to scoop one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Yeah! The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. Ooh, ah! Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. Th there! Having almost felt, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez, no need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it! I don't want to... <laughs> Sorry. I don't want your help, okay? Sigh. <laughs> I'm going to get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desks attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels back over to the closet. Ah, uh, uh, it's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls, but I've already learned my lessons, so I'll keep my mouth shut. Oosh. Natsuki climbs onto the chair, then slowly balances onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. Why would you sit down in the doorway is my biggest concern. <laughs> oh, I hate the screen. Aha! There we go! See, I can easily do it now. Natsuki grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below. Ooh, the chair swivels. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. Wh what are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who was it who told me not to help? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches up. I can... I can almost see up her skirt! I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she, realize, once she realizes, I'll be dead! Hoop. Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait girl's box set, easily the largest one on the shelf. <laughs> Heavy! Hey, Shiro! I... I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry and take this one. Eh? But then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. All right. Just let me stand up. I slowly release my, my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. If he's been on the floor holding the holding the chair steady, that means he was literally looking up her skirt. And she is just about to realize this. Oh, dear. And I keep punching the mic, I'm sorry. It's near my face. What do you mean, stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Eh. Natsuki looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, the box. <sighs> what are you looking at? You're trying to look at my 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 my. my. <laughs> Natsuki's legs shake. I, I I'm not. I was just. N Natsuki, don't try to move. Just give me the box. You, you perv. You set me up. Go away. Get out. But I'll do it myself. 
Ah! The chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki! Yeah! The scene turns into chaos in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands and the books go flying. I got you! Crash! The full force of Natsuki's body against me throws me to the ground. The whole bu and a whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight onto my chest. Ugh. My right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. Ugh. Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. Ugh. She presses her arm straight into me to prop herself up. This would literally, like, break his ribs. Like, if you think about it, her full force of putting herself up versus his rib cage, yeah, she would probably either break or bruise his ribs. 100%. Uh? Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. Gah! Gross! Gross! Ugh. A fist pounds into my chest. Yeah. His fucking ribs are done, man. His ribs are done. Like, 100% they're broken. <laughs> Back broken. Ribs broken. It's like, she might as well just be freaking pounding on his heart at this point. Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet. What were you thinking? You sicko! Everything okay over there? I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica! See what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? <laughs> the cause and effect. Oh, God. Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So, I hope you're happy. I didn't! Somehow, it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear! I know, I know. Don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh! Oh no! Mum, my... Uh. I look down. Natsuki is kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are all scattered. Or blah, 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 blah. Natsuki is kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease along the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Uh, it must have landed on that page. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly, she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Oh, she's crying. The poor Natsuki. Poor angry baby, she's crying. Natsuki, are you? No! Natsuki, oh, that was not a very squeak, but whatever. Natsuki voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. Uh, I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No, I don't even care that much. I'm just having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. It, it's, it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Just every day. It is so hard. I just want to... Come to the club. 
I know I missed the and there, I'm sorry. Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright, well, I'll help clean this up. And I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Uh, I pick up volume 2 of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This'll help you cheer up a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're... You're really nice to me. Eh? That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. Well, uh, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Sorry for that interruption. Natsuki lowers her head and sniffles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I can do. The next couple of minutes are silent between us as I begin to gather blah, 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 blah. The next couple of minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done and I hoist the box. Oh my goodness. I need to have a drink. Because <laughs> my, my voice. I'm having a hard time with this. Give me one second, guys. Okay, Natsuki's tears also have affected me, so I had to blow my nose a little bit, too. Because I get into it, you know? Alright. It isn't long before we're done, and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then, I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. Alright, that should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Thanks. <laughs> it's nothing. Natsuki is holding the volume I set aside in her hands. All right, I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The thing about cheering me up. If you insist. We sit in the same spot as last time and I open the second volume. Natsuki mo- Natsuki Moo! Moo! Oh my god. Natsuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing out- or er, pointing things out to me. She's surprisingly sharp, making note of a lot of subtle, repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed with how everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. After some time, Monica gets our attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. I guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep. Even even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? <laughs> I told you. Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and slip the book into my bag. Who should I share my poem to first? Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, it's only natural to share it to Natsuki first, because she's the one we're kind of trying to go for, so might as well do her first. Hmm... Natsuki reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me, then back to, then back at the poem. By now, she must have read it more than once. Err. Is it that bad? No, no it's not. It's good, it's really good, okay? There, I said it. 
Oh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? My poems are supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Obviously. You think I'd let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine? Give me a break. Well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you... Natsuki's face freezes, like she just realized something. You, 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 you're trying to impress me? Natsuki vigorously scans her eyes over my poem one more time. Then the poem slips out of her hands and flutters to the floor. I have to use the bathroom. Red-faced, Natsuki quickly walks out of the room. She was just like... <sighs> Mortally embarrassed. <laughs> hey, Shiro. Uh, did you do something to Natsuki? I just saw her rush out of... I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? N no I just told her that... My voice gets caught in my throat. There's no way I could tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. Hmm? Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She reads through it, her smile not fading from her face. I see. You wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I mean... Not really? In fact, didn't she like your poem a lot the other day, too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you tr Are you sure you're not cheating, Shiro? <laughs> this is an interesting sentence. Are you sure you're not cheating, Shiro? Hmm. Ch cheating? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. Anyway, how do you think Natsuki feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It was just something for you to think about that. <laughs> It was just something for you to think about. Hey! Natsuki comes up and snatches the poem out of Monica's hands. Neither of us had noticed her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course. I liked it. Urgh! You should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know. You have a bad habit of doing that. Huh? But Shiro wrote this poem. And we're supposed to share with everyone, right? Ugh. Natsuki freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem is technically for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think Shiro is done sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like anyone would want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. If you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Ugh. Never mind. Uh, Natsuki, I'll give you the poem, but it's still not very fair to Sayori. She hasn't gotten to read it yet. So what? Well, I guess Shiro is right, Natsuki. It's not fair if you don't let everyone finish reading it. Fine. Natsuki returns my poem. It's not like she's going to like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep it. This is only... <laughs> this is my only copy. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, scared. <laughs> Not scary. But I guess some people think they're scary. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. 
It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. This is a very internalized thing. So if you're not familiar with this game, this game basically um, has a lot of hidden meaning behind a lot of stuff. Um, for this one in particular, it is very highly theorized that Natsuki is internally gay, where she actually likes girls, but she internalizes it and has a hard time with the main character because he's a guy. So in the end, she might end up being bi. Who knows? But this is very an internalized, you know, she seems a little homophobic here. Like if you replace the word spiders with gay, you would probably get that. But it doesn't matter. Um, it's just a theory. Nothing's completely proven. At least, I don't know. Maybe in the side stories, it is kind of proven. Who knows? We'll find out soon enough. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies, and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, it's about how everything thinks my that doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of people finding out. They'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Or it could be uh, her relation to manga. My child, hello. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. You know, I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking. What? My brain just shut off. <laughs> I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been, well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you. So, so consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow, okay? Alright, I will. I maybe will watch the live letter. I don't know yet. Let me sit with this up. What am oh. I doing? I forgot that that was attached to that. Excuse me. Yeah, just twitch.tv. Is it actually going though? No, it's currently on the screen. So we're gonna ignore that for now. Whenever it actually pops up, maybe. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead with Yuri. Oh, Yuri voice, Yuri voice, Yuri voice. Let me go get a sip of water. Okay. Um, are you still mad at me? Yeah. For disrespecting Natsuki yesterday. Because reading this poem, now I know why you got mad at me. Because you... you prefer her writing over mine. That's not really true. 
Meaning, when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Yuri, you might be reading into this a little too much. How, how could I be so stupid? I always let these things happen. Whenever I think before I speak, I just come off as awkward and unlikable. But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep hidden inside come out and make people hate me. So please, don't force yourself to be around me. I know this is what Monica wants. But it's not fair to you when you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki and Sayori. Yuri. Please. It makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's all I need. Yuri smiles sadly and puts her head down on her desk. I'm frustrated. I don't hate her, but if it's <laughs> but it's as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. I sigh to myself. All I can do is accept that that's how she is. If she wants to be left alone, then I have no choice but to abide by that request. <laughs> Who am I gonna show my poem to next? We'll go with Sayori. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Shiro! Ugh. I love it! Especially after yesterday's poem. Ugh. You're too honest sometimes, Sayori. No, but really! I want to put this on my wall. Can I? Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive. I'm sure this doesn't make sense because I've already seen Yuri's opinion. <laughs> Yuri's opinion had literally nothing to do with anything because she just said, I don't even want, I don't want, I don't want to give you feedback. I don't want to show you my poem. Just go. She's just like, nope, just go. Maybe even Natsuki's. I've already seen Natsuki's opinion out of it as well. She wanted to keep my poem. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you. Bleh. Sorry. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Shiro poem. And that makes it extra special. Nope. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. Oh, Jesus. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes... If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah! Me neither! Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aww! You want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Oh, really? Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try and keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm, I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? 
Bittersweet? Bittersweet! Yeah! I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can see you like something s I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can make the rain cloud a Sorry. <laughs> ah! Okay. A sad poem can give Oh. Why? Why? Why do I struggle with her voice? Okay. A sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Shiro. I should go write that down then. I can, you can read my poem now, okay? Oh, I don't want to read bottles again. So I'm not going to read bottles again. I'm just going to like scroll slowly through it. So if you want to read it, you can. But I've already read bottles. I already did that last stream. Do, 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 do. My bitrate has gone wild. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay. And we're going to just skip because I did all this yesterday. I probably did the beginning bit of it yesterday too, but I just don't remember. So, who should I show my poem to next? Obviously, Monica. Hi, Genshiro. That was kind of silly with Natsuki earlier, wasn't it? I'm glad the two of you been have been getting along so well. That's one way of putting it. Anyway, I already read your poem, but you can go ahead and read mine now. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, so I also did this one yesterday too, but I'll just go ahead and read it because it's pretty quick. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of the meaningless. Load me. Alright, so I believe everything here is the same, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip. Holy shit, literally all of this is the same. Got it. Nothing is different. Wow, this is the fastest read-through of this ever, isn't it? Okay, so... Basically, I don't know why it skipped this part, but it shouldn't have. Um, it should have stopped sooner than this choice. But anyway, basically... Um, let's see. Uh, do 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 we had the same conversation with uh, Sayori. Uh, the only difference is, is replace all of Natsuki currently with Yuri. And that was yesterday's. Or uh, not yesterday's. That was last stream. Okay. But today Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... Uh, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Natsuki asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of a question is that? You're putting... You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well... Um... I really forget what I ended up doing before. 
Um, because I think I just went straight up with I would still walk home with Sayori. Um, I, man, I really don't remember. Uh, let's go ahead to do, like, with Netsuki. Because, you know, it's a Netsuki route. We're just going to try and get all the dialogue. Walk home, Walking home with Netsuki, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I don't know. That's a good question. Because she would smack your ribs? I mean, I think I would be afraid of what she'd do to me if I turned her down. Isn't she so cute and fun to be around? That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sayori, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everything is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward, but it's a kind of but it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her, but if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's that's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Sorry, I was kind of speed reading that. All right, so Natsuki words are very cute and very short usually. So bunny, um, sugar, sweet, not her. Um, oh Jesus. None of these words are her. Chocolate. Um, mouse. Animals are usually your best bet if you're trying to do Natsuki word or yeah, Natsuki words because she just cute things and animals are cute. Fluffy. Um, candy. Yeah. Uh, hop. Kitty. Sticky. I don't know why sticky is, but it is. Milk. Puppy. Um. Blanket? Yes. Kawaii. Cute. Those are easy. Poof. Uh, giggle. Um, no. Boop. Honestly, I would love to see, like, um, I would love to see a, like, computer-generated, <laughs> computer gener like, it takes the, it takes the poems and it computer-generates a poem for you, so it's like, ah, I made a bot watch 1,000 blah 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 hours and blah blah blah, and then had it come up with this or whatever that meme is or whatever. Uh, kiss. Uh, pink. Aw, oh, man. Okay, we're just gonna skip through this because we've seen it already. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you. Uh, I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so... Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's it's not like I'm worried. It, I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up for a minute. But we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me... To leave you alone, and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles the last part. Nah, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Say Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. 
but she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. Natsuki et Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you really should work on your fur raising. But anyway, you're her best the You're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought about... Bleh. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh... Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not. Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Dot, dot, dot. What? <laughs> what? What just happened? Wait, 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 what? Skip? What? We literally went... Huh? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Just whatever. Sayori, because I know that option is pretty much... Yeah, Sayori is an option that is pretty much the same. Uh, we'll do Yuri before we do Natsuki. Which means that we're probably not going to talk to Yuri. Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about... <laughs> Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. Who should I share my poem with? Uh, Natsuki. Let's see, let's see! You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course! You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. You seem to like... You seemed like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, 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 of course. I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like... I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or or jealous. I, I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer? That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> Natsuki. What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Eh? W what are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best. Right? Mm, it took me a while to figure it out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. If she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way too. Right? Shiro, please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid, but there's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Natsuki. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point of sharing my poems if people just laugh and say, That's so cute, just like you, Natsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute, but nobody understands that. I try really hard whenever I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... Natsuki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver. I look down. 
Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Natsuki, if you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hand until she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she put into it. D don't read it! Before I can pick it up, Natsuki snatches the poem from the desk. It's, it's not any good. And I know you hate my poems, so you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. W why? Because I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think your style is more amateur than hers. And Sayori, she always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Aw, Natsuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she forces herself to extend her arms and set her poem on the table. Y you can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Aww. Natsuki poem! Because you. Tomorrow will be brighter. Bleh. Excuse me. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout. But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars. But when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all of my heart. But what do I do when it's all torn apart? My faith is a little bit stronger because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dearer because you think of me. Because you, because you, because you. Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It was just a little surprising to read. Er, I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. D don't say it like that, dummy. What do you think the point of writing is? Expressing the things you can't just say. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well. And I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah. I'm a pro, so. Oh, well, excuse me. I'm a pro, so. There we go. That had more emotion in it. Her less confidentness. Just remember that I can think these things sometimes too. You know, when you're nice to me, it's <laughs> meaningful. Uh, I'm glad. Sensing Natsuki is satisfied, I start to hand the poem back to her. But as I do, Natsuki takes my hand and pushes them back away. Her small, soft hands surprise me. Her small, soft hands surprise me with their assertion. I don't want it. Eh? Why not? I, I just don't want it. Jeez. I realize what Natsuki is doing. Unable to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Instead of teasing her... I choose to go along with it. G good If you didn't, I would... Never mind. I just... I'm glad that you want it. 
Natsuki backpedals on her words and leave it at, leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her faintly smiling to herself. A spider, a spider just descended the sky. Oh, you missed the spider poem, but it's okay. That's all for now. So go put it away before someone sees it, okay? Uh, yeah. I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so I can put away Natsuki's poem. I'm not ignoring people, just... There's no one here, and I haven't really been looking at chat. <laughs> so who should I show my poem to next? Monica, clearly. Skip. Sticking with the Natsuki style once more, I see. Hmm, you really like Natsuki, don't you? Uh, that's... Oh, come on, Shiro. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Pretending to like the manga that she's into. You, you know how Natsuki is. If I don't indulge her, she'll end up hating me. Eh? No, I think you're misunderstanding, Shiro. It's not like Natsuki just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the only one who's indulged her as much as you have. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I just didn't want to admit it. So, I need to ask one thing of you. Be careful, please. Natsuki is kind of unpredictable. A lot of times, she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. They're all over 18. She might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens, then it could end up damaging the club, too. And you wouldn't do that to me, right? That's... I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. While I care about her in the club, it's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Monica smiles sweetly. Anyway... I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Er, all right. We will just continue. And we will skip. We will skip. <laughs> ah, yes. I am sorry. If you have been new to this part of the game, I'm just skipping through all of it. <laughs> because I don't need to see it. Um, pretty much everything is in the VOD. So, watch VOD. Everybody else from YouTube has probably have already watched the other video, so... And if you haven't, how dare you? Miss Yuri voice? Mmm, how dare. Alright, Natsuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun, and you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so I could probably use two pe So it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Huh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that... Th th that's because... Never mind, okay? Lan challenged the chat and... Oh god, what did he do? <sighs> what did he do? Skep, you can't just tease me with that. You wouldn't tell me what he did. I have messages. Why do I have messages? Who is sending me friend? Oh. The live loader hasn't even started yet. I at least want to get through most of this. Anyway, I did not mean to do that. Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Uh, uh, of course. 
I'm used to it, after all. Fifty dollars? Really? Oh, God. <sighs> I don't claim him. I don't, because he would know better if I claimed him. I know better. That's why I don't do this for money. I do not stream or do YouTube for money. I refuse. Uh, that's good. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to f to not feel bad. So, that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is going to be awesome! I don't think that really counts. What about you, Shiro? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Y Yuri? She's still sulking. Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not just be that. I think that Yuri might be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help? That doesn't mean... Uh, Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. I don't have enough viewership to actually have subs. <laughs> I really don't. And literally all I've played is Doki Doki Literature Club on stream. <laughs> so literally no reason for me to actually have subs. So, I mean, yes, that would be cool, but definitely not something I would, I would, I would care to have, like, actual money being thrown into. Okay, back to this. Look, Natsuki goes over and pushes her hands on Yuri. Puts her hands down on Yuri. Can she even reach Yuri's shoulders? Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And, and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the perform. Bleh. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the perf during the performance. I the. So you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, should be... Bleh. Natsuki, of all people, to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki is trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell... Excuse me. I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a little bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out of the door as they chat between each other. As they chat between each other. I don't know what I was reading. 
Um, where are you going? Uh, we still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized you didn't have any way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not take... <laughs> you better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? <laughs> Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. Oops, sorry, I smacked the mic. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. All right, fine by me. Yeah, I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... All right, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh, never mind. Woo! Skip! Oh, uh, it's already Sunday. There we go. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other af- we sent- We sent one each- oh my god. I don't know why I can't read. Anyway. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned out- but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. She also really likes she also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, all right, skip. Yeah, we're gonna just skip all the depressing stuff. Woo! Depressing stuff. More depressing stuff. And we're back to the house. I spend only a few minutes back at home, anxiously waiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Oh, she's getting a little kitty on her shirt. And she's wearing a cute little skirt. She's so cute. Okay. Sup? Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's going to be a long afternoon, so you don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing them outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you. <laughs> not even remotely close to Natsuki's name. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. So you bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. 
Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good! Glad I could count on you. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Shiro? Come on, since when did I need to be a gentleman? Excuse me. I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. So, she fell onto this guy's chest. She fells onto this guy's chest. And, um... So... I'm pretty sure she broke his ribs because she literally fell on his chest and it probably hurt. <laughs> so now she's hitting him in the chest and I'm like, oh, that's gotta hurt. His ribs are at the very least bruised. But you know what? Whatever. Hey, hey, your size has nothing to do with it. Yes, it does. Do you really hate being small that much? Yes, she does. Small people will let you know how angry they are. <laughs> Believe me. Tiny people will make sure you understand their rage. Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, geez, never mind. What are you making me say? Do you think... Don't... <laughs> Don't you think... Oh my god. Words! <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a sip of water because oh my god. Don't you think you can make me... Don't... Oh my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what is the English language? I don't know. No, I'm not showing you anything. Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's a bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. H hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature or sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like a... 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 Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Oh. Hmm, a sexy body like Yuri, huh? Hmm. Natsuki? Forget it! I didn't say anything! I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys- Oh my- <laughs> No! If that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes, we call those people who like lollies. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Uh, how would... You know that, anyway. Just trust me on these. 
Oh no! You've seen the people who like lollies! No! God, no! Gross. Hey! Was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Shiro. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to sit Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, then there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to put thi pull things out of her bag so we can get started. So, in my brain, she's got, like, the Mary Poppins bag, where she's opening stuff and, like, impossibly large things are coming out of it. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls... Flour, spilled flu spilled fluid, hmm, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Shiro, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going in the oven soon, so we need to fill the trays. So I need to fill the trays. Oh, uh, I think it's in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Huh, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if it just looks, if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes light up. This is how I really feel. Like whenever I used to bake stuff for my coworkers, um, whenever I lived in North Carolina, I would really be more focused on actual presentation. So I would like figure out how to make things based on what I was trying to do with it. Like there was a particular thing I was trying to do where I had to actually figure out how to bake something in um, a different type of tin. And also the live letter is starting. So just to let you guys know, I've got that on the other screen. So I am watching both of these at the same time, I'm just not able to hear it. Alright. It's a million times more worth it in the end if it if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes, and Sayori and Monica's delighted expression. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Uh, let's see, boop, and pop out. I popped out chat, so I can place it here. Alright, there we go. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah. Maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mish blah, 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 blah. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We're using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah, it'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. 
Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it into her mouth. Oh my goodness. Oh no! <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it into her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, huh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. No, you guys are fine. I'm watching you, but I, you guys are fine. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Uh, the force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mm. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez, you know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish... I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. First of all. First of all. First of all. What? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stop. Not until you apologize... Blech. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. At least... Oh, blah, blah, blah. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do it to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this. E oh, shh. What is happening in my chat right now? Do I have to literally babysit you guys? What is going on? <sighs> I'm demodding you, Skip. <laughs> People on YouTube are going to be so confused. In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. W what? D did you just seriously just... Uh? Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Shiro, you really shouldn't do that thing, kind of thing to girls, uh, un unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of a question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn into this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? <laughs> Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. <gasps> no! Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder! You left a dirty tray in here, dummy! How could you make a mistake like that? 
You should have checked before turning- You should have checked before turning the oven on! Don't blame me for your mistakes! Jeez! Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. Hold on. Did I read that right? Uses an oven mitt. Yeah, okay, I read that right. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, er, <laughs> anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the mo the tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake tray into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Also, just to let you guys know, uh, Live Letter is actually live. So, yeah. <sighs> what he's not telling you is that he is my in-game husband. Skip. The person you are calling a simp is my in-game husband. I am virtually married to him. That is why he's a VIP. <laughs> Neo is also a VIP because he is my FC leader over on Famfret. Anyway, look at how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought the decorating stuff. Blah, blah. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make them... Make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What is this one for? I pick up one of the novels, nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can use it... <laughs> but you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday, or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? Well, we could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose the cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. W what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. B well, Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? No, no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens the novels. Bleh, fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me much of a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together! Yeah, they are, aren't they? Ooh, I wish I could have one now! Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, she'd probably down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. 
Oh dear. Well, anyway. I was hoping we have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, oh, already. That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance. Man. As usual, at bleh, as usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes... Wrong person. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, then you could probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she could listen... I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I think I began back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so hopeless. Did I say hopeless or helpless? Because it said helpless. <laughs> I feel so helpless. Uh, Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Sorry about that. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her? <sighs> Excuse me, MC? Excuse me? Did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Excuse me? You literally had the girl pinned up against a wall at one point. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, this guy. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, this guy. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go somewhere... Um... Do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Shiro, I thought you only cared about getting this done. Ugh. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. She's in my face. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt, as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. She wants to kiss! What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I I've felt it. For a while now. <clears throat> Natsuki sh suddenly jumps back. S Sayori! Eh? Uh? Uh, hi, sh well, god damn it. <laughs> hi, Shiro. S Sayori, just now we weren't. <laughs> it's it's okay, Shiro. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well, uh, you should have come a little earlier. I I'm already on my way out, so. Aw, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, alright, so we are going to save this right here. Because guess what? We are now done with Natsuki! So, I really do want to have, like, a completely devoted stream for 
Sayori's run, because Sayori's run is gonna be a lot longer. So, I actually am tempted to end stream here. Um, because, like, this just gets more emotionally fueled. So, it's probably for the best I actually have a full stream to uh, have with Sayori. Um, so Sayori will literally have her own arc, like, perfectly arranged for her. So, in this case, like, for that, um, I would go back to here, because I think what I'm going to end up doing. Or did I do it there? You know what? I don't know what's going on here. So I'm going to completely ignore that. Um... Yeah, I'm going to completely ignore that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and load up this. Yeah, we are already done with Natsuki. Natsuki was literally just a little bit um, of dialogue. Because I go through each of the days with the girl. And I'm skipping all the uh, extra dialogue. Um, I'm skipping all the extra dialogue. Uh, I don't know if I'll be skipping the extra dialogue with um, Sayori. Um... Because I do want ha to have her, like, a really devoted stream. Um, so, um, yeah, just to have a full, like, five-hour long stream or whatever. F just devoted to Sayori. So I might end up doing that tomorrow. So what's probably going to end up tomorrow is me actually doing Sayori's run tomorrow. Or, you know, whatever I feel like. Um, but I'm off tomorrow, so I'm probably going to do that. Um, so I'm going to start this, and then I'm going to, um, it's time to write a poem. Um, so we're going to go for Sayori with this. So, mm, bed, marriage, um, laugh um hopeless broken um misfortune cry um unrequited melancholy fuck um Comfort? Yeah. Breathe. <sighs> Promise. Tragedy. Uh, childhood. Um, Fester? No, I knew Fester wasn't going to be. Um, Eternity. Fuck. Um, daydream, um, rainbow, okay, um, god damn it, spinning, no, um, together, there we go, yeah, all right, so, we will do all of this at a different date. Um, you know what? Remember, three is for her. I'll know all that. Three is for her. Page three is Sayori. All right. And we'll just exit DDLC. Side stories have updated. Yay! We got new side stories. More pictures. These are pictures for that. Got Natsuki pictures, see? Back. Back. Um, let's see. This is the kitchen, the protagonist's kitchen. Do, 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 do. Natsuki's CG. Yeah. 
All right, that was it. Well, so it is looking like I am immediately going to go watch the live letter. Can I raid the live letter? Can I can I raid the live letter? Because <laughs> that's exactly what I'm about to go do. I can raid the live letter. <laughs> they can all make you go and watch the live letter. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I'm pretty much done with Doki Doki Literature Club for tonight. So um, catch you back either tomorrow or maybe next week. I'm off next Saturday as well. So I will definitely be streaming next Friday. Um, so maybe I'll just leave that for, you know, Doki Doki Literature Club. Who knows? But anyway, um, thanks all of the tiny people here. here. Um, so thanks guys for showing up and watching. Uh, we didn't get very long with Natsuki because, you know, I was skipping a lot. So we'll just, you know, worry about that at a different date. And let me raid this. All right, bye-bye. We're raiding.